Hey everybody, it's the Rookie Revolution back with the third and final part of my best rookie performance series. I just want to thank everyone who had subscribed and given me support on Twitter and Instagram. I cannot tell you how much this has all meant to me, and I am only just beginning. I have loads more content coming out, and without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Battle of the X's 2 was the first season that featured rookies from Are You The One, and that came with a mixed reception. I, however, loved this idea and loved the rookies that came with it this season. For the males, it wouldn't be fair to include Jay Gaudi because he is just so amazing at this game, he's an amazing eater, and just is amazing. All you have to do is finish. I can't, it just won't go down. They were right to keep you guys around because obviously you guys can't handle it. Trust me, you guys are terrible. Jay sucks. You know, there's some people that are made for the challenge and then there's you guys. Jay, are you crying? Are you serious? Have you ever seen this show before? So I settled on Adam Coom. I am just shocked and baffled at why Adam never came back. Why did he not? He was so good and perfect for the show. It makes me upset because... First of all, he fits in well, he brought drama, was hilarious in confessionals, and was really good in competition. Adam was partnered with a huge wink link in Brittany, and Adam still carried her to three elimination wins. For the females, obviously this is Jenna's first season, but a lot of people, including myself, thought she was a layup and was not good. Obviously she proved us wrong later on, but for the reasons I mentioned before, I have to give it to fan favorite Avery Tressler. Avery might be one of the most popular contestants ever, which is crazy considering she only did two seasons. Avery was partnered with her ex Johnny, who treated her really bad. Avery was a really impressive performer. She won two eliminations, including beating Thomas and Haley and Adam and Brittany, but she also put up a great fight with a girl who was double her size in a physical elimination for hours. That shows heart. Avery should have been called for more seasons from her performance this season alone. For Battle of the Bloodlines being more than half rookies, it is very surprising how weak most of them are. We have some really weak rookies in Emily, Candice, Larissa, Shane, Steven, and Rihanna. Some meh rookies in Raffi and Dario who are not the same person, Nicole, Anthony, Mike, Vince, Christina, and maybe Tony. And the good rookies in Jill, Brianna, Mitch, Corey, and Jamie. So with all of those options for everyone, let's start with the females. And the best rookie female of this season, I guess is Brianna, but that is strictly for the fact that Jill did not last long enough. Brianna was actually very funny and was good once she came out of her shell later in the season. TJ said to her near the beginning of the season that she was not cut out for this show. Some people really weren't made for the challenge. But then near the end, TJ said he was wrong. I guess some people were made for the challenge, huh? Brianna performed decently in the dailies and showed heart, which in my opinion is the most important thing. Let's also not forget the bakery fight. I'm smarter than her. You think you're better than everybody else in this house because you got a job at the bakery. Am I that own something? It wasn't a jelly. Yeah, yeah, do you have a set job? Only is back with her because his ex-girlfriend has short hair. For the male, some people might be surprised, but I am very certain on my decision, and that is Mitch. Mitch was Corey's partner, and Mitch, in my opinion, really carried that team. Mitch is one of the smartest people to ever be on the show, period. He voted bananas in right before the final to further his chances at winning. Mitch was the reason Corey and him made it as far as they did. One of the best moments of the season is Corey and Mitch really behind in the second to last daily of the season, and getting to the puzzle station last by quite a substantial margin. No one could figure out the puzzle, but Mitch finished it in seconds. Mitch also beat a bigger Raffi in elimination that was impressive. All in all, Mitch had a masterful season. Rivals 3. <laughs> oh, Rivals 3. The origin of Brandon Tyndale. I miss my girlfriend. I need to go home. I'm done. No more hugs. Let's go. Don't take care. Hope to see you never. And Nate Seibenmark. Two of my least favorite contestants of all time. I will be honest in saying this season's male rookies are not very good at all. Devin went home first and lucked his way back in. Brandon and Nate are two of the most insufferable people to ever be on the show. So I have to go with Nelson Thomas. Nelson was a replacement, 
but out of all the male rookies, he performed the best and was funny. This season is what bred Nelly T, and we all love the heart and intensity he plays the game with, so it has to be him. For females, it is a bit easier because we had some amazing rookies like Amanda and Ashley, but for this season, I have to go with Millionaire Mitchell, aka Ashley Mitchell. It was a surprise seeing Ashley being invited to a challenge, but man am I glad she was. She was such a character. She was funny and performed well physically and politically, and this season is what bred Millionaire Mitchell. Invasion of the Champions was pretty much a rookie theme with lots of good options. For the males, I am upset Anthony did not last longer because he had potential. So the male rookie that really showed out was Hunter Barfield. A little cocky at times. You won't beat me. You won't beat me. Who can no, beat me? Who can beat me? Hunter is a physical specimen and looks at this game as a pure sport, which is okay, but he does not try in politic. He can also not do a puzzle to save his life, which ultimately is his biggest downfall. Hunter got into drama and won his fair share of dailies, so he did earn this award. For the females, I think there are two good options in Nicole Zanata and Sylvia Elsrode. But Nicole just was annoying and had no brains for the game, so I'm going with Sylvia. Sylvia was very underestimated in this game. First of all, she looked at this game with her head and not her heart, making decisions that would further her game even if she was hurting her friends. No one thought Sylvia was coming out of the eliminations she went into, but ended up being Latoya and impressively Kayla. Sylvia was such a good rookie and one of the standouts of this season. Dirty 30 really had few male rookies except for Derrick Henry. Ammo Hall was playing on the male side of the game, but classified as a non-binary. Ammo is now transitioning into a female, and I just want to give a huge congratulations to her on this journey and say how much respect I have for her. I do not feel right classifying her with the males on this list, but I will say at the time, they really, really showed heart and played a wonderful game. Again, at the time, they shocked everyone when they beat Tony in an elimination and put up an excellent fight against Jordan. Ammo really inspired lots of people, so I need to include her on this list. For the girls, it's Tori Deal. She once again played this game like a vet and aligned with the power players. She won one elimination and four daily challenges. Tori also had the most confessionals this season as a rookie, which is just insane. She was excellent socially in making connections, and as some would say, she earned her stripes this season. Okay, I have a lot to say about Vendettas, and let me just start with the females. It was in between Natalie and Cam, and every time I went back and forth, I always landed back on Cam. Cam, aka Killer Cam, came into the season full of confidence and kept that throughout the whole game. She looked at this game in a way that not many other rookies did, and saying that she believed the vets, just as much as the rookies, should earn their stripes. Cam always took her shot against the most powerful players and never backed down. Cam was always ready for the twists and turns of the game. Cam won three eliminations, beating Tori, Ashley, and Natalie, all in impressive wins. Cam unfortunately got screwed in the final, but she was no doubt the best female rookie. For the males, Everyone I asked either said Joss or Kyle. Joss or Kyle. And I actually did not know who I was going to choose. Actually, that's a lie. I will say, Joss did great on the first challenge and put up a beastly fight against Derek. But that's where it ends in my opinion. On the other hand, Kyle came into this game fresh out of a bar. He was out of shape and did not know a thing about the game. What Kyle did was able to use his charm and make his bonds with the power players such as Bananas, Kara, Zack, and Tony. Kyle played up all season how weak and out of shape he was, but kept winning challenges with no one really noticing. Kyle started showing more of his ability near the end of the season, but by then it was too late. Kyle already made its bonds. Kyle impressed and surprised literally everybody this season. An underrated game move is that Kyle gave the last push to Tony about sending bananas in when he said, send bananas in now. Kyle was friends with bananas, and I really believe he gave Tony the extra push to do it. No one has ever been so underestimated in this game. Kyra was an evil genius this season and showed everybody how a rookie should play this game. I'm a little shocked that Kyle did so well. I wasn't expecting this from him. Even though all he does is drink and eat sugar, Kyle has heart and he's showing it. You drink, you... Well, I 
actually kind of scared of you now. <laughs> it was him and Kyle that put you in that one, not me. And I was just going to win. It was, if there was a time to pull the trigger, now is the time. But I don't want to be caught on that. It's between me and you. I'm the total underdog here. How is Kyle doing this? Everyone thought it was a layup from day one. How is this guy able to compete at such a high level? Oh, it looks like Kyle's going to win the challenge. Okay, Final Reckoning was a confusing season to do because the two contenders are Jose and Polly for the males. With those two options, I almost considered giving it to Chuck, who went home day one. I am not the biggest fan of Polly, but I can say he is a good competitor. But was he really a good competitor on this season? Um, he went to the Redemption House in Episode 3 and came back in Episode 15, right before the final. I really don't consider it having a good season. Polly was in 5 eliminations and lost 3 of them and only won the other 2 because of Natalie and a potentially rigged elimination against Bananas and Tony, which is for a whole other video. Polly should have went home after the first elimination loss, but lost 2 more after that and still stayed in the game. I cannot give this award to him. Jose, on the other hand, came into the season with everybody not considering him a contender. But Jose put in work, and although he did lose two eliminations, which is better than losing three, not by much, but it still is, one of the eliminations he lost was also allegedly rigged for Devin and Corey, which I believe. Jose also beat Pauly and Ali in the elimination round twice. I think out uh, Pauly and Jose for this season, Jose has the upper hand. For the females, I narrowed it down to Angela and Davon. And although I believe Angela played a great game, I am giving it to Davon, who was Jose's partner. So I already kind of talked about their game, but Davon was hilarious in confessionals and gave the best lines and fights. She was very skilled in the challenges. She played a great political game by floating in the middle. She was good in eliminations, and Davon was just a delight to have on this season. <laughs> You bitch, because I'm not even talking to you. Woo! War of the Worlds is another season with more than half rookies. Here is the list. <gasps> Alan, Chase, JP, Turbo, Theo, Ashley, Bear, Josh, and Gus. Liz, Julia, Morgan, Zahida, D, Shailene, Georgia, Natalie, and Maddie. With all of those options, let's start with the females. And for them, I narrowed it down to Georgia and Maddie, and ultimately went with Georgia. Controversy aside, I really do believe she was the complete package for a rookie, and the most well-rounded of all the other female rookies. Georgia started this game off in a good position in the UK alliance which really dominated the game in the first half. Georgia also picked Hunter to be her partner in the Paris half of this game, which I do not believe was a great decision. I believe she should have picked CT like she was originally going to, as Hunter did not fill in her weaknesses and added more arguments than necessary. Georgia killed this season winning 4 challenges and 2 eliminations. Georgia also gave solid confessionals and was good enough at the game to get this award. For the guys, it was between Bear, Theo, and Turbo. And I will say right now, I know how beloved Turbo is, but I do not think he was the best rookie of this season. Wait, I'll explain that in another video, but Bear. He was the funniest and most entertaining person this entire season, and I was really tempted to give him this award just for that. But over Theo, I just couldn't do it. Theo is another person who brought everything to the challenge. Theo was like what, 6 foot 7? And the fastest guy on the show. He was partners with Cara Maria, and they in my opinion might have been the most well-rounded partnership of the season. Theo also killed the individual stage. Theo got into a showmance with Cam, won 6 challenges and 1 elimination including Hall Brawl against Kyle and one of the best eliminations the show has ever seen. Theo killed this final and in my opinion was robbed of the win. Right after War of the Worlds came War of the Worlds 2 and if you thought the Ruins didn't have any worthy male rookies then this is right there with it. We have Sean and Idris as options. I like Sean, but he went home episode 1 and just didn't do well. And Idris is the guy who says he can beat CT and Mark Long in Hall Brawl. So I'm gonna pass, but I guess Idris is better than Sean from this season. For the females, I love Big T, but compared to Jenny, I just can't give her this award. Jenny came into this season intimidating not only the females, but also the males. She was ripped out of her mind and performed at a top tier level. She was loyal to her friends and a good asset to her team. Jenny was the rookie this season and gets the sole award. 
Total Madness is the newest season of the challenge and we have some good options. For me, it was between Fessy and Jay for the guys. And while Fessy was a beast on the challenges, he really didn't do anything else, so that's why I'm choosing Jay. Jay came into the season with an obvious target on his back from, well, his exes. But he was also the smallest guy, which made him a target for people to go against him in eliminations. But people underestimated him. Sure, he went to the first elimination against Asaf and killed it, but he put up an all-star elimination performance against CT and killed it. He put himself in a position where people took him seriously after that. Jay didn't do super well at the dailies and he also lost to Rogan really badly, but he brought everything to the show any viewer would want in a rookie. Drama, competition, strategy, I love Jay and he earned this award. For females, it was between Casey and Bailey. And I put Casey in the same category as Fessy, a beast, but boring. So that's why I'm giving it to Bailey. Bailey came into this season with her husband Swaggy C and just killed it all around. She beasted the dailies, beasted her elimination against Anissa, and brought drama, funny confessionals, and really just earned this award. Thanks everyone for watching. That is it for my rookie series. Please tell me your opinions in the comments below. I have some really good content coming soon, so if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe. My Twitter is at RookieRevo, and my Instagram is at RookieRevolution. Everybody, please take care, and I'll see you on the next video.